Hello there, it's Ben Maxwell and Jordan. Hello. From PC Games N. He also has a surname, it's forward if you're interested. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> We're going to talk about Wolfenstein 2 and the do's and don'ts of taking down the Panzer Hunt. Okay, so uh, I played probably half an hour uh, in a new section of Wolfenstein 2. It was in a New Orleans ghetto. Uh, we're, we're there to sort of find Horton, who's this moonshine distilling uh, leader of another resistance band. Was there jazz? There was jazz. There was a lot was of uh, awesome clarinet playing by uh, one of the resistance members. It, it didn't really make any sense, but in that kind of machine games way, it, it's fine. <laughs> Just <laughs> accept the, the guy playing clarinet. Accept the clarinet. Or it might have been an oboe. I'm sorry if I've offended any oh, classical musicians. Jordan. We um, talked about this. But on the way there, I got to fight two Panzerhunds, and then at the end, I also got to ride one, which was pretty good fun. So w were they wielding guns or oboes? I just want to check. Um, they, they weren't wielding any guns. They were breathing fire. This not, is getting weird. Not jazz or mm. soul. Okay. Yeah, um, so... I thought we'd put together a little handy guide on how to take down Panzerhuns. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first tip is do dual wield. Okay, so the th this is a simple one really. They're quite difficult to kill and they take a lot of damage and the best way to up your damage is to carry two guns instead of one. Um, this was a tip given to us by the developers and it really does work because it, I'm like, I was fighting the first one for five or six times and uh, for five or six minutes and died three or four times, I think, at the start. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty tough, and um, dual wielding will just chip them away much quicker. Okay, so the next tip is don't stay still for too long. Okay, another very obvious one. They breathe fire, um, and the fire is incredibly damaging. Especially I mean, like, to oboes, right? Yeah, it's, Melt yes. the body. Any classical instruments will just get <laughs> burnt to crisp. Um, you're really enjoying that, aren't you? <laughs> I'm never, ever, ever going to stop. Um, so the few times uh, I sort of stop circle strafing or, or stop moving around the map, once it starts uh, breathing fire at you, it, it's very quick to uh, chip all of your health away, and it's kind of hard to tell exactly um, how much damage it's doing. So just always move, um, not least because there's also lots of Nazis sort of running around the area to deal with at the same time. Now if you are playing an oboe, it's recommended you stay still because you'll be able to breathe better. The next tip is do kill all nearby Nazis first. This sounds also obvious. It, it is also obvious. Yeah. This is you know the, these these are the primers. These are the <laughs> guys. Come on, you know if if this is your first time killing a massive, you know dog style mech, the, the, you know we all know this. But in case you're new to this kind of thing, um, yes, there'll be like. 10, 20 guys to, to deal with first. Uh, make sure you deal with them first. You'll get all their ammo and their uh, grenades and all that stuff. Don't worry about stealthing it because it's just a waste of time. This is Wolfenstein. You deal wield and you just run through them. Um, but once they're out of the way, you've got a lot more free space to, to sort of bait the uh, Panzerhund into new areas um, and a lot more freedom. Lovely. Okay. Don't use cars for cover. So I don't think we had this in the first game, but um, basically there's cars all over the area and they explode and deal a lot of damage if you're hit, uh, or if you're near them, sorry, and they explode. And obviously with the Panzerhund breathing fire, they explode quite regularly in uh, confined spaces. Um, so it, if you're roaming around the map, try and stay clear of them, especially if you see uh, the Panzerhund sort of starting up its fire attack. Did you have full health in this level? Because the two levels I've played, I was locked to 50% because uh, I he was had, injured. Oh, I had full health, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Just yeah, and I still died in case you're trying to find a way to just rub <laughs> salt I, into the wounds. I then. wasn't. I was just... It was an interesting piece of information to impart to the viewers. But um, clearly, it's a sensitive spot. Okay, uh, given that they explode, do use cars as explosive traps. Yeah, so uh, no, this sort of ties back to the make sure you clear the area first. So w when you've got a bit more space, you can sort of drag the Panzerhund into uh, alleyways and sort of areas where there's multiple cars. Shoot the cars, they explode, deal extra damage, and you'll have that dog down in a matter of minutes. <laughs> I think that, that, yeah, that's how it works pretty much. Um, it, it takes a fair few explosions to properly uh, to kill it, but it, it makes the whole process a lot faster. Lovely. Do keep your distance. So the range on the flamethrower is absurdly long. Like, it, it can reach across the entire area. Um, but if you're far away from it, you've got a bit more time to react when it does start up its attack. So, you know, keep 
keep a long way away and also you, it's it's fairly easy to land hits at that distance anyway so it's not like you need the range oh. okay this is an intriguing one don't try to escape to high ground that sounds like mm. something i would definitely do so in the second instance i fought panzerhund uh it was in this sort of a uh, sort of train rail you know where they sort of turn the trains around and a, a train yard you could call it um <laughs> and one of the things you could do uh, i don't i haven't no one's spoken about this yet but um one of the power suit abilities you have is stilts, oh. which are super cool. You you hit the jump button twice and suddenly you're on stilts and you can walk around at a slower pace but much higher than everything. And what that's helpful for is platforming. So you can jump on top of the trains and look around that way. Um, I tried this and immediately I found out that the uh, Panzerhund can also jump up on trains and things. So it really doesn't <laughs> help at all in these situations. Um, that said, you can use it to sort of, you know, get get a bit of a lay of the land and see where it might be, because in in uh, crowded areas it's difficult to sort of see over cover and you know which you know whether it's left or right. Okay, and then the final tip is, do search around for supplies just to check. Are you saying don't run out of ammunition? Uh, pretty you, much. You are, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, well, it's specific ammunition. So there are certain weapons that are really good for taking down the Panzerhund, and that's like explosives. So the camp pistol which is the, if you've played the Old Blood, it's the um, sort of uh, spring-loaded rocket launcher in a handgun, which is awesome, and you can dual-wield them. Uh, the shotguns are also really good, and the assault rifles are really good. If you're only using those weapons, though, uh, you're going to run out of ammunition really fast, and if you're not sort of looking in little areas uh, like nooks and crannies, so in the train yard there are lots of exposed train cabins you could look in, no one knows why anyone would keep ammunition in there, but surprisingly there's lots of ammo in there. Um, the other thing is health. Um, you will lose a lot of health because inevitably you'll get caught up in the flames or when you're dealing with the extra Nazis, uh, you'll need to find some extra health lying around. And it doesn't drop particularly regularly from soldiers, so keep an eye out for it when you're sort of roaming around. Keep on the move, yeah, that, that kind of thing. Mm. Lovely job. Mm. Okay, that's um, everything for now. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, if you did, remember to like, subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, you can thank Jordan later. We're out. Bye. Bye.